Hello guys, it's Necromancer 540 here on VG Review Tube. Now, if you got the Game Boy Player for your GameCube, you'll be able to play your Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games on the GameCube. But you have you're have, having one problem. How do we put it on? I'll show you. So right here I have my Nintendo GameCube. What you want to do? Go to the bottom part of the GameCube. Take these things off. And it'll look like this. Next thing you take your play, your Game Boy player, put it on the bottom. Next thing you want to do, you want to tighten these things up. I recommend you using a screwdriver with this, not your hands. And don't make them too tight, otherwise it's going to be stuck there forever. If you feel tight enough, there it is. Okay then, here's what the GameCube looks like with the Game Boy Player on. Right here you can get your, your Game Boy, Game Boy Color, or Game Boy Advance game. We'll go with Dr. Mario. And by the way, guys, make sure you got the startup disk. Otherwise, this thing will not work. When you do that, you turn your GameCube. I don't have it plugged in, though. But anyway, when you turn it on, you should be in your game. And right here, this is how you can adjust your game, guys. But before you try to switch cartridges, choose the Switch Game Packs option so you can do it without having to turn off and turn on your GameCube over and over again. That would be a pain in the ass. Anyway, this is the Necromancer 540 on VG Review YouTube saying, well, that's how you do it. And see you later. Hope you enjoyed this.